How's this for a beverage that could leave you in a fog? It's vodka in a bottle with fog already prepackaged inside. Lee Cowan explains. Although you might think that a vodka still would be a great place to bring in the new year, it's actually just a giant tease. You can't drink any of it straight out of the tap because at this point in the process, it's 190 proof. And just touch it to your tongue and you'll be able to get... <laughs> yep. It almost evaporates right Whoa, away. Oh, it does. That's why it's called the spirit. <laughs> Kaylee Shoemaker is the head distiller at Hangar One Vodka. It gets its name from its home, an old airport hangar at what used to be the Naval Air Station in Alameda, across the bay from San Francisco. You can make vodka out of just about anything that ferments, but here's something you might not know. Your average bottle of vodka is actually about 60% water. Is it really? Yeah, it has a ton of influence on the final flavor. Water, however, is a pretty coveted commodity in California, having just emerged from several years of drought. So, Shoemaker decided she'd experiment with a more sustainable option and try to squeeze water out of an icon. San Francisco's famous fog. It turned out no one had tried it, which I was kind of surprised no one about. Tried it? No, yeah, because even it, with all this fog, with all this fog, no one had tried it yet. A quick meteorological lesson: fog is essentially made up of tiny floating water droplets, and it turns out those drops do have a flavor. It's water, so it's very nuanced. So that's what fog tastes like. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like licking a wet rock, but in a good way. It almost whispers to the places the fog traveled. And I mean, it sounds kind of silly, but with all that little bit of salinity and minerality, you can almost taste the journey of the fog, I would say. Still, coaxing that water literally out of thin air does take a bit of engineering. So in its most elemental form, this is a pea soup catcher. <laughs> Hangar One so enlisted the help of Chris Folletti, who has been wrangling clouds for years. And since this one's up, how much has it collected? It's collected, uh, more than 700 gallons since we installed it. He's a volunteer with a Canadian nonprofit called FogQuest, which has been constructing special nets to catch fog in the mountains of Africa, Asia, and Latin America since early 2000. In one village in Guatemala, there are 35 of those nets set up. Together, they can capture up to 1,800 gallons of fog water a day. It's a pretty and simple process, right? Yes. I mean, if you think about it. It's designed to trap the microscopic droplets in fog. Yeah, you can see And convert them into larger droplets, which then fall into the trough and are collected. Here in the Bay Area, it can take up to a day to collect enough fog water to cut just a single bottle of vodka, which might be because there's less fog in general, says scientist Todd Dawson. The length of time that the fog lingers around on the coast now has gone down by about three hours every single foggy day. Dawson is an environmental scientist at UC Berkeley. He says over the last 60 plus years, there's been about a 35% decrease in the frequency of fog along the coast. And that, he says, may have a big impact on Northern California's other icon, the coast redwoods, which depend on fog for both moisture and fertilization. They also have less rainfall, along with less fog, means less water overall. And in the southern parts of the range, we're actually seeing that those coast redwoods are really suffering. The lack of fog, in part, is why Hangar One's aptly named Fog Point Vodka is so pricey. How much is it per bottle? It retails at about 125 per bottle. Um, it's such so a... fog isn't cheap. No. <laughs> Much of the proceeds will go to fund FogQuest's nonprofit work, as well as to the California State Coastal Conservancy. Bottling San Francisco's fog won't keep it from thinning, but it does remind us that as we enter a new year, nature's resources are worth both toasting and saving. Mm -hmm.